What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Yada, and welcome to episode 4, I believe, of my Tony Pulis challenge. Uh, uh, this is tough, man. This is, this is tough. Uh, I didn't expect it to be this hard, um, but the one that's done it for me, like the thing that's, that's so tough for me is definitely the style of play that I have to, that I have to use. Um, but we've had a, we've had a decent little run of form, like not really decent run of form. We've had a, if you can look, if you just want to uh, take your eyes to where my mouse cursor is, to, uh, to Arsenal, uh, we've had Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool and Man United all in a row and picked up uh, four points out of a possible 12, which... Let's be honest, guys. Not bad. Not bad at all. But uh, yeah, we've uh, we've had a decent little run here. We played uh, Norwich and we drew three or what a ridiculous game that was. Um, uh, we uh, we got a little bit lucky. Uh, Sebastian Song scoring uh, our first goal, but look at this. Almanda fucking broke through our defence somehow. Um, and as a Norwich fan, that is heartbreaking to see because he is. Uh, Fucking atrocious. Um, <laughs> but oh, I can't even remember how this goal came about. Or oh, who scored it. Elmanda into the wolf. Into Gutierrez. And that's in the back of the net. But I mean, fucking Gutierrez as well. Atrocious player. But we essentially got battered every game. And still came out with wins. Um, which I'm happy about. No doubt about that. But... Getting battered every game is very, very disheartening. Like, just looking at this save makes me sad. Uh, <laughs> because I know, I know, like, I could probably... Jesus Christ, what a goal by Johnson there. Um, incredible goal. Uh, yeah, I know I could probably save this team. I could probably pick up loads of, like, wins against the, uh, the easier teams. Even the fucking Wolf scored. Um, uh, against the easier teams if I could play my own style of football. My own little brand of football. Which is uh, it's not exactly a great brand of football, to be fair. But yeah, no, if I could just probably own way. But I've been stuck with the Tony Pulis, so I don't want to complain about it too much. But man, it's been tough to play with. It's been really tough to play with. But we uh, we lost 2-0 against Everton and picked up a point against Southampton away from home, which I'm really happy about. We, we played Cardiff at home on uh, on TV. And uh, we, we played very, very well here, I think. I mean, we got a lot of shots away. Uh, and we didn't let them dominate us too much, but we did. We did tend to surrender the possession when they had it their, their own, their own little period, their own little third. I think. I think if I remember, uh, who's that up front? That's uh, that's injured. I can't, don't even know. I assume that's Shamak. But yeah, one in three two against uh, against Cardiff was was great because it brought them back down to us. I think we're we're now like four points behind them. Uh, they're the team that we need to beat, but I'm gonna be honest. At the start, the start of this this save, um, my goal was to get or to beat Tony Pulis, but now I've seen just how ridiculously difficult this challenge has been. Uh, like I've kind of kind of decided to uh, to just my challenge is now just to get out of the relegation zone and not be relegated because team is this team is awful. This team is so bad. Uh, especially like not being able to buy anyone it makes it even harder. But this team, I swear to God, that was a lovely play there. Not really, not really direct, but uh, no, that was a great goal. But yeah, though this team is just terrible. It's bad. Going forward, it, uh, atrocious. Defending, atrocious. My midfield, I don't even have a midfield half the time. They, it just gets passed around them. I mean, I'm sure my my uh, my formation. Probably, or my tactics at least, probably aren't helping it. But I don't know. I don't know what to do. I've looked at looked at what I can do with it, and I don't know long ball at all at all well. Uh, but we we beat Newcastle two 0 as well. Uh, this be the uh, the last game that I show. Uh, yeah, no, my one shining light is fucking John Williams, and he used to play for Ipswich if I recall. Um, like, nah, you're alright, mate. I don't I don't particularly like. Don't particularly like John Williams because of that fact, but he's pretty good. If I'm honest with you, he's 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 not bad in that attacking play or advanced playmaker role. I, uh, I mean, yeah, no, he's decent. Shamak, atrocious player, awful. Like he went like ten games without a goal. 
I mean, that's not good enough for a striker. And then I, I was thinking, oh man, I'm going to have to just drop Shamak. Who do I play to with? Oh, fucking Cameron Jerome. Brilliant. Like, I can't play Dwight Gale up there because I can't bang long balls up to him. I could probably play two up front, but I've never played two up front before. I don't know how that even works. <laughs> but I suppose we better get into this game. We really need to win the, this game against Aston Villa. Uh, my phone is ringing, but I'm just going to ignore that. Hang on. Do you want to hang up? Get tongue up. There we go. Uh, yeah, like I really need to win this game, but these guys are up in eleventh, which is where I want to be, really. But yeah, no, we are currently four points behind Cardiff. Uh, luckily, these three are all like relatively tight. But I mean, between us and West Brom, that's not nine points. No, eight points. Is that? That's eight points. Wow, terrible maths. I'm supposed to be a maths teacher. Uh, incredible. Uh, let me. Uh, Right, what are we? What are we? What are we looking at? I think this is the team I want to go with. I'm just going to assume it is. Mario Shabak is currently injured for like four to five weeks, fractured arm, which is a terrible shame. But I've uh, oh, I've changed it so Dwight Gale is uh, a false nine because screw you guys, I like false nines. Um, still playing exactly the same, but we don't have a big man up front. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> in goal we've got Wayne Hennessy. Um, you know what, I'm actually going to change that to just a normal goalkeeper. Uh, yeah, in goal we've got Wayne Hennessy. In defence we've got Jonathan Parr and Joel Ward. In the uh, centre of defence we've got Scott Dan and Adrian Mariapa. In the midfield we've got uh, Dick Agoy and uh, Joe Ledley. I'm changing my formation around here. I'm not going to lie with you. Or not going to lie to you, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm actually going to change this around a little bit. Yeah, Dick Agoy and Joe Ledley. On the wings we've got... Uh, no, what's his name? Tom Ince and uh, Yannick Balassi and uh, centre attack midfield. We've got John Williams. Up front, we've got Dwight Gale. So, uh, yeah, this team, man, like, not exactly, not exactly big name stars. Um, fucking, yeah, uh, they've got Kozak up front. He is huge, if I recall. Is he the really big guy? Let me have a look. Uh, yeah, he's six foot four, so he's he's just a little bit taller than me, I think. Um, yeah, he's like, atrocious at everything but being a big man. Um, <laughs> ah, so yeah. Dear, oh dear. Weak of foot. Uh, no one's got good long shots. They're all fairly brave, to be fair. They're quick. <laughs> yeah, they've got Captain Bundle, Fabian Delph. Yeah, they're fairly quick. Of course they're quick. Uh, expecting you to win, boys. We're at home, so we really should win, but to be honest, we're actually better away from home somehow. Uh, uh, we were. I don't know. I don't know if that's still the case. I haven't really looked at it too much. But, um, yeah. As you can see, I'm kind of sounding a little bit defeated, and that's because I am. Uh, <laughs> like, I've just recorded two other episodes, and I sounded fine in those, but man, this one just makes me sad. Just makes me really, really sad. Um, I've been recording for eight minutes already. Jesus Christ. This is a long episode. 1 0 to Aston Villa. Jesus. That's. Jesus. This is uh, atrocious. Oh, let's watch it. Go on. It's Fabian Delph. He just runs through my midfield. Yeah, let's use title marking. Oh, man. We're getting all the shots away here, it seems. Uh, say that as a, as a two quick five shots, but... Is this our first highlight? Is this our highlight? I don't know. Tom Ince. Oh, he's beating him for pace, that's for sure. Dwight Gale finishes that one. That's one all. There we go, boys. There we go. That's what I want. That one, no, that one counts as a direct goal. I'm not gonna lie, it's uh, it was a cross. He just beats Ron Vla, just beats Ron Vla. No, 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 no trouble at all. That was easy, easy for him, easy, easy, easy. Jared uh, Ledley's passing today is uh, is wonderful, it's, uh, superb. Please find things to go and keep it up. <clears throat> I have faith. I have faith. I don't even need to do it for uh, Dwight Gale because he is uh, he is so happy right now, so so happy. Is this a highlight? No, it's not. 
So they are they are getting a lot of the ball in uh, in my third, but whatever. We'll uh, we'll have to uh, survive that, I think. Oh jeez, that was atrocious, Dicker boy. Blimey. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, off the crossbar. You're not gonna go get that. You're not gonna you could have you could have like fucking just ran down the wing with that then. It's completely open. Big ball into the box. Nothing comes from that. Those are the ones we really need to be winning. <laughs> Velassi into Dickagoy. Can we can we get that down the wing please? No, of course we can't. Of course we can't. Oh, Scott Dan, wonderful, wonderful defender. Dick boy, not quite. Oh, he's actually done something. Wow. Well done, buddy. Well done. You are. I think it might be a time for a sub for Dick Agoy. Oh! Yep. Let's get Dick Agoy off. He is, uh, he's way too tired. Let's get Owen Garvin on. I think he can play. Yeah, kind of. Might stick him as box to box, actually. How could Joe Levy pass him? 90.5%. Incredible. Oh, it's just gone down. Still. That's nice. Still, it's still pretty good. Still pretty good. Tom Ince up there as well. Lovely. Um, oh, I'm getting back into like uh, my old formations. I like where I'd look at that. That's a one-all draw. Um, yeah, that's okay. Um, we've got the harder games out of the way now. Uh, <sighs> don't know. West Brom lost. Norwich won. Quite convincingly. Sunderland against Chelsea was a cracking game. That was Everton versus uh, Cardiff. Not bad at all. Uh, Montella. Looking at Brad Guzan. Let's take a look at the table. We're still we're still three points. Well, we are three points behind Cardiff now. That's just one win. Uh, do we play Cardiff at all? Um, let's have a look. We do not. But uh, I don't know when I'm going to be back, actually. Which be Cardiff earlier in the season. Okay. Um... Yeah, so we've got West Ham, Hull, Swansea, Stoke, Sunderland, Tottenham and Fulham and if we win all of those by the Tottenham game I'll be uh, I'll be happy and if we uh, we uh, lose a single game by the Tottenham one I'll be not happy. That's that's uh, that's kind of the way I'm looking at it now if we if we lose a single game by the Tottenham one I'll be I'll be very very annoyed. So uh, so guys I will see. Wow, Rizik is terrible. He's awful on this game, isn't he? That's that's bad. They should give him. They should give him better stats, man. It's not very good. So, guys, I'm going to see you all in the next episode. So, guys, peace out.